all hail the clicks crew all right guys today we're taking a look at even more fantastic four hero clicks previews uh these ones come from clicks off podcast so make sure to check them out uh link in the mr clicks flicks um facebook group uh to the original post is there if you guys want to see these for yourselves and continue to encourage uh them to get uh keep getting um previews uh but yeah uh, these look really good sets due out july 22nd 2020 uh there is no pre-release for this set uh just because of everything that's going on uh if you're looking to pre-order obviously uh visit your local gaming store local comic book store to do that uh, but also WizKids um has their own shop now where you can pre-order and buy stuff online that is shop.wizkids.com uh so i encourage you to check that out it's pretty cool uh and then also this is a good time to let you know that mr clicks flicks is sponsored by lucky dice cafe out of huntsville alabama home of the ROC. No matter if you're in the United States or around the world, Lucky Dice Cafe has the winning role for our game needs. You can visit them at LuckyDiceCafe.com or on their Facebook page using the link found in the description of this video. Mr. Clicks Flicks is also sponsored by TrollandToad.com, one of the largest online gaming retailers. Visit TrollandToad.com and use the promo code MrClicksFlix for 5% off your Hero Clicks order today. Uh, Lucky Dice Cafe is holding pre-orders for this set right now, um, so uh, stop on over and check them out. Um, Troll and Toad is not, they always uh, do, to the best of my knowledge, uh, like day of set release, uh, singles and sealed sales. Uh, so make sure to check that, uh, them out uh, when the time comes for that. Uh, so uh, again, uh, we're taking a look at some Fantastic Four previews, so that's enough of me blabbing. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Up first is Claw, number 29 in the set. He is an uncommon. He has the aim, Frightful Four, Masters of Evil, and Scientist keywords. He has two traits and a special on his defense. His first trait is Frightful Four, Sonic Wave. Friendly characters with the Frightful Four keyword can use Energy Shield Deflection. That's just plain good. Uh, handing out uh, Energy Shield Deflection is good. Friendly characters with the Frightful Four keyword can use. Uh, so there's no restriction of um, Line of Fire range anything like that it's just a global effect for them that's all that'll that'll make it so no matter what the rest of the style looks like he'll find his way on frightful four theme teams uh his uh, other trait is overwhelming blast of sound when claw is ko'd roll a d6 four through six deal two penetrating damage to all opposing characters within four squares uh, so 50 50 shot at dealing two damage to everybody within four that's opposing that's that's good. I mean, hopefully you never have to use it, but if you do, uh, a lot of times, if it's late game, that's enough to win you the game. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, next one is the special on his defense, Can't Touch Us, Barrier Invulnerability. When Claw uses Barrier, he may count range and draw line of fire uh, from the square of a friendly character with the Frightful Four keyword. So, uh, one more time, uh, when Claw uses Barrier, he may count, range, and draw a line of fire from the square of a friendly character with the Frightful Four keyword. So again, this character doesn't have to be within his range and line of fire. It's just any character um, with Frightful Four keyword, he can um, Claw can use Barrier basically through them, counting off his range and line of fire from them. Uh, sort of as if he occupied that square. That's phenomenal. So to recap, uh, without being adjacent or anywhere near anybody, he's giving you a plus two to range attacks, and he's making it so he can use barrier to help your team from anywhere on the map. That's just good. That's solid. Uh, and then he also has the Masters of Evil team ability. Once again, the team abilities are on these cards for this set, uh, which is great. Uh, hopefully WizKids continues doing that. But this is Masters of Evil, which is Colossal Stamina. So uh, after you take your two action tokens, uh, you can um, elect to not clear your action tokens at the uh, start of your third turn. Take a push click and then you uh, just keep your two action tokens on you and then you have the basically the same decision the next turn. It can be pretty good. I've, I've seen it turn some tides. 75 points, like we said, has that Masters of Evil team ability. 6 range single target. 10 uh, movement with phasing teleport. 11 attack. 17 defense with that special 3 damage with range combat expert. This guy's good. Uh, 75 points to not have movement attack up front. Um... Is a little bit much, but when you think about everything he's doing for your team, that's really good. And then in the middle of his dial there, he's got Running Shot Pulse Wave. 
Uh, this guy's good. I'll definitely use him. Scientists is going to be a good fit for him, although like we've discussed, Frightful 4 is uh, what you're going to be trying, but we'll have to see how much overlap there is with Frightful 4 and Scientist keywords. Um, so anyway, the next figure that we're going to take a look at is Black Leopard number 13B in the set. This is the common prime figure. Uh, so this is like the third... Um, the third Black Panther, Black Panther-ish um, Prime we've gotten. Uh, so let's see what this guy does. Uh, he has the Avengers Fantastic Four Wakanda Ruler and Warrior keywords. He also has improved movement, ignores hindering terrain. Okay, so those is pretty Avengers Fantastic Four looks like it's going to be a good one. Wakanda is a, a actually a pretty decent keyword. Ruler's good, Warrior's good. So good. Um, Good assortment. This is a uh, real name T'Challa. So I didn't know about this persona with him. So I'll have to go check this out. Uh, but he's got a trait and a special on his damage. His trait is to fight for equality in Rudaria. R Rudarda. Rudarda. Rudiarda. I think is uh, how you say that. Rudiarda. Um, the maximum attack, defense, and damage values of opposing characters within six squares and line of fire are each equal to black leopards printed value of that type who doggies that's good all right uh so regardless of anything else he does um that's phenomenal so what this means is anybody within six screens uh six squares in the line of fire has whatever is on uh black leopards uh dial at the time uh so that is that is really good um uh, as we'll see in a minute when we take a look at his uh, dial. Um, so the special on his damage is reminds uh, uh, reminders of how they view even a king. Leadership perplex. When Black Leopard uses perplex to target himself, modify the chosen value plus two instead. If an opposing character within six squares and line of fire has a higher printed value of the chosen value that Black, Pan that Black Leopard's printed value uh, i keep wanting to say black panther so what this is saying is that well hold on, we'll go we'll go do his dial first and then we'll i'll tell you what it's saying uh so he's 50 points has a zero range has a 10 movement with charge 10 attack with blades close fang 17 defense with combat reflexes uh indomitability and three damage with that special so for 50 point character that's that's not terrible but it's not great but when you think about uh characters within six squares in line of fire have his stat line and you're like well if i can give a 200 point character a 10 attack with 17 defense um and three damage that might be enough to win you a game um so uh and then his uh, special on his damage what it means is so let's say uh you want to perplex up uh, you know, an opponent has an 11 attack. Uh, they're getting it replaced with the, the 10 that uh, T'Challa has here, uh, but it's still a, a printed 11. It would be higher than his. So if he perplexed his attack value up, he would be perplexing it up to a 12, um, which is really solid. Um, so hold on, let me glance at this one more time. Uh, maximum attack defense value, opposing characters. Uh, to black uh, printed value of that type. Yeah, so it's his printed value. So when T'Challa increases his attack to 12, that doesn't mean your opponents get their attacks up to 12. It means that that's just there to 10. Uh, and since he has combat reflexes, that means that uh, they're swinging a 10 on a 19. I'll take my opponent need a nine. That is super solid. Um, and then, you know, they might not have something like... Um, like uh energy shield deflection or combat reflexes or anything to help them out uh so that's really uh really good there and again even if they did they wouldn't be allowed to to have it so uh and it's just opposing so your own figures can still do it this is a really good figure i i could see running this prime black panther this is a good one i i would be pretty happy to see him in a booster uh, and the last figure we're going to take a look at is Franklin Von Doom, number 64 in the set. He is a chase figure, um, so looking really cool there. I really like the sculpt on it. Uh, Franklin Richards, or Franklin Von Doom, uh, as he is on this thing, is, is a pretty cool character. So uh, let's see how this uh, 
figure works out. He's got uh, some keywords here, which are Battle World, Other, Fantastic Four, Latvarian, Cosmic. Uh, he's got a trait, a special on his attack, defense, and damage. Uh, his trait is My Thoughts and Desires Come to fru uh, Fruition. Free, choose one. If five or less Franklin Von Doom generated terrain markers are on the map, generate a terrain marker. Uh, hindering water or blocking in an adjacent square or remove all terrain markers except debris from a square within range and line of fire all right so this is really good so free choose one okay if there's less than five of these out there uh, you get to generate one so hindering water or blocking uh, in an adjacent square or remove all terrain markers except debris markers from a square within range and line of fire so what that means is if your opponent has barrier or something like that you can just take that barrier down or you know all kinds of other obstacles that are put up you can just take it down and he's got a really healthy range that we'll get into here in a minute so this is a good this is a good trait uh, then his uh, special on his attack is molecular manipulation incapacitate telekinesis both of those are good. Uh, I've never seen a time where I was super mad to have those. Uh, then he has the special on his defense, which is uh, want to save yourself some trouble and give up. Stop, power cosmic, colossal size, impervious. And those stop clicks are so good. Uh, so it gives him protected. Um, uh, it makes so he can take two actions. He's protected from outwit. I think the capital stops makes it he's protected from pulse wave too. Gives him the colossal size so he can use colossal stamina if he wants. Impervious. It's just good. Uh, and then he's got this special on his damage, which is reality warp. Probability control outwit, but only when Franklin Von Doom occupies a terrain marker. So he can make these terrain markers. Uh, obviously, he can't occupy his blocking terrain markers. But uh, he can uh, occupy, you know, like a smoke cloud or something like that. Water, and it doesn't have to be one of his terrain markers. It could be somebody else's on your team. So uh, keep that in mind. He has a uh, one team ability, which is Minions of Doom. Uh, outside of his stop clicks, uh, Minions of Doom has been uh, changed from what it was in a very long time ago. It's not even really worth talking about. Uh, and it's uh, when this character KOs a standard opposing character after resolutions, heal one click on a friendly character using this team ability. So that could be him or somebody else on your team that can use this team ability, which is uh, really, really good. Uh, so he's 75, uh, 70 points, has that Minions of Doom team ability, has a 9 range dual target. So again, remember we talked about that... Um, you know, he had a nice healthy range for that uh, getting rid of stuff uh, trait. That also gives him a nice healthy range for incapacitate and telekinesis and makes it so he can dual target in cap, which is also good. Uh, he's got an 11 movement with phasing teleport and the flight ability. 11 attack with that special that has the TK and incapacitate. 18 defense with... Um, Energy shield deflection, one damage with that special. Uh, it is on clicks four and five that he gets his defense special. And boy, are those doozies. Uh, I feel bad for anybody that gets knocked onto this uh, and, and has to deal with it. I would really, I just try to avoid this guy all game and, and not deal with it. Um, but uh, anyway, so uh, on, on just to glance at it. Uh, on click four, he has a seven movement with sidestep. Okay, not bad. 13 attack with psychic blast. 20 damage with that special. Or, I'm sorry, 20 defense and five damage. Uh, and then on his next click, which is also stop click, so you get two of these in, in succession. Uh, seven movement with sidestep again. 12 attack this time with psychic blast. 19 defense with that special and four damage. This guy's a hoss. I sincerely hope that I'm able to pull one of these because this is... A phenomenal chase figure here this is definitely a hard one for me it's a good character um it's just a good it's a good support figure that ends up being a really good late game attacker uh so i need one of these uh fantastic four seems like it's gonna be a good keyword uh cosmics obviously uh classically a good keyword too so you guys let me know in the comments below 
what your favorite figure was of this preview. Uh, it doesn't matter if it was the strongest one or not. Uh, you know, there's plenty of times where the goofball figure is the one that I like. But, uh, you know, uh, let me know that in the comments below. I always find that stuff interesting uh, to read, and I like commenting back on that stuff. Make sure that you're subscribed and you hit that bell notification uh, because I will be doing a ton of Fantastic Four videos. I'm so excited about this set. Uh, so uh, make sure to click those if you're interested in being caught up on all those and all things Hero Clicks. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. As always, please remember the zone critical miss if you don't have probability control.